Hey Capricorn, it's Natalie here getting ready to do your guys' uh, reading for the month of August. I hope everyone is doing well. Alright, uh, so this reading is going to resonate for anyone with Capricorn placements. It could also resonate for the Cross Watcher. Also keep in mind that um, the readings are fluid, time is fluid, energy is fluid, and all that other good stuff, okay? Um, also, if anyone needed a personal reading, you're more than welcome to email me, alright? So Capricorn, let's tap into your guys' energy for the month of August. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Hmm. Okay, so we have trust out here. Allow me, divine, to give you my deepest longings, trusting that you know exactly how to handle them, okay? Trust. And then we have grounded out here. Many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. Okay, so the way that you guys look doesn't re reflect the way that you guys live is basically what I'm getting out here. Um, you can look like a regular, normal person, but your life is just perfect. Like, you, you come off as someone very perfect. Yeah. I feel like you're also opening your energy for a, a partnership to come through. You know, I guess people see you as very perfect, okay? Let's see. I also get, like, you're trusting the divine, so... You're very um, in tune with God and things like that. You give all your prob problems to him. And that's exactly why you're grounded. Okay. That's exactly why you're in this energy of like stability. Okay. Capricorn. Okay. So we have nurture. You guys are also a nurturer. A mother energy. I'm also getting like you're the divine's favorite or something. It's like... um. Yeah, giving and receiving. You're also someone out here that actually likes to, uh, you, you take care of people because you know yourself. It's like you are very secure with yourself. Um, you don't focus on like, like if you owe or someone owed you money, you don't hold it over their head or something like that. It's like that type of energy. You're more of a nurturer. You don't really care. So the fact that Spirit is telling me this, it lets you know that there could be some greedy energies around you that don't act this way, okay? All right, let's see Capricorn for the month of August. What's going on with Capricorn in August? What's going on with Capricorn in August? So we have Chosen One, Black Sheep energy out here. We also have Solid Connection out here. What else, please, for Capricorn for the month of August? We have Karmic Man, Social Media Predator, Catfish Energy. Ooh, and then we have Black Magic out here. So there's definitely a Karmic Man that was dealing with Black Magic. Someone who's a Social Media Predator, okay? Catfish Energy, pretending to be someone that they're not on the internet. What else, please, for Capricorn? Man, we have the Sex World card that just came out, all right? We have generational wealth out here. Let me get one more. Return to sender, 444. Yeah, you return some sort of energy to somebody. Now someone is like going through it, I guess. Do you have a really good solid connection with somebody? Someone here definitely um, did magic on someone that was protected. Okay. Cheating and infidelity, police investigation, spiritual tribe. This person could be getting investigated about stealing money so someone out here try to project energy onto you when they know good and darn well that they got caught stealing something or pretending to be someone out here for someone's money this could be someone out here that uh use your identity to do something out here yeah let's see Five of Cups and the Devil. Wow. Okay, so there's a lot of like, uh, uh, this person is really angry and upset right now. And Cap the Devil is your guys' energy, Capricorn energy. So this person is in a lot of regret. They're also like spying on you obsessively, okay? Let's see. Capricorn for the month of August. What's going on with Capricorn for the month of August right now? going on with Capricorn for the month of August. Eight of Pentacles. The Tower. What's 
Scorpio energy. What else, please, for Capricorn out here for the month of August? The Eight of Cups. Hmm. Someone definitely try to, like, uh, change your focus away from your work. Okay, what else, please, for Capricorn? Uh, the Page of Cups. Okay, someone wants to apologize to you for walking away or leaving you with something that fell down. Okay, it's, this is giving me, like, energy of um, someone trying to give someone something that they knew was going to fall. It could be like uh, handing someone bills that they know that they were never going to pay or something like that. Something, it's an asset. Someone gave someone something, um, knowing that they were going to work on it, not telling them that it was going to fall. Because I feel like they walked away from something, but they come back and act like everything is okay. What else, please, for Capricorn? It's a foundation. Yeah, we have the Nine of Swords out here, then we have the Eight of Swords out here. So I feel like this person, Three of Swords, Page of Pentacles, this person is really stuck in their head. They're having like anxiety problems right now. Um, I'm hearing they should have just did something by the book or they, or they should have just did something like, they should have just focused on something and worked on something the right way. Um, justice out here. Libra energy. Okay. As soon as you walked away from someone or something, they got their karma. Things started to balance out. Oh, I'm also getting like there was a secret out here. We have the world card. Okay. And the king of wands out here. Someone who's very ambitious, ready to close out cycles. Okay. Someone could be going to jail too with the eight of swords and justice out here. They're afraid of going to jail. They're afraid of going to jail. Or being in spiritual jail out here. And I feel like what happened was you sort of like... um. You, you trust the universe and, and you're a nurturer. So this person couldn't like project energy onto you. It was just not going to look right. Clarify the eight of pentacles for Capricorn. The five of wands. Yeah. Trying to cause chaos, destruction, drama. This could be like competition at work too. But someone like once you stuck in the eight of pentacles, like stuck working on something. But I feel like you're not in that energy. We have one, two, three eights out here. Cycles are cycles are very important. Someone here wanted you stuck in a cycle and you're not stuck in a cycle. Clarify the five of wands for Capricorn. Trying to distract you from your work also could be people from your past with the six of cups out here. Trying to like throw your past in your face or something like that. Or something about children. There could be like children out here fighting. All right. Maybe it could be your children fighting while you're trying to get work done or something like that. Okay, clarify the tower, please, for the month of August for Capricorn. Why is the tower here for Capricorn for the month of August? We have the Knight of Cups out here and the King of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Someone out here is just too smart. I feel like this is you, Capricorn. You have waited a tower moment. Yeah, there's some sort of exposure out here about stability. I feel like if this was like a lawyer situation, um, there could have been a lawyer that lawyer that was really smart. They knew that someone out here was out on the cold or someone out here was acting a certain way because they were in the five of pentacles. So they knew to avoid a tower moment, okay? You could be like receiving a message about this or something. If this is court... But I feel like someone is definitely like avoiding something because they don't want to, they're trying to work on something, okay? Clarify the Eight of Cups for Capricorn. They're walking away from it. They don't want to be involved. Yeah, the Page of Swords out here. They're watching someone walk away too. Six of Wands, Three of Cups, the Emperor, the Lovers, Ace of Wands. They don't want to be involved in something. Clarify the Page of, Pen Page of Swords for Capricorn. But someone is trying to pull them back into drama. The hangman and the two of pentacles out here. And strength card out here. Pulling someone back or holding someone back. It could be family out here holding someone back from giving to someone or bringing someone an offer. They know what someone out here is working on and they're trying to distract somebody out here. And there's a karmic man out here too. 
Someone is trying to avoid a tower. Pretend to be someone's friend to avoid a tower. Someone doesn't want to be involved in whatever this person has planned. So it's being returned to sender. There's generational wealth here on the line. And someone else is trying to be a catfish or like just be a fake like person. Not show their real face for this generational wealth. Clarify this uh, page of cups, please, for Capricorn. The Six of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Wanting to work with somebody out here. There's something about this person's energy that lets me know that they're kind of manipulative, though. I feel like they want... Something about this person's energy lets me know that they just want, like... They want you to be part of the team, Capricorn, but it's giving me, like, it's going to be chaotic. You don't want to work with these people. Similar about that Three of Pentacles for Capricorn. What is this? The Knight of Pentacles out here giving you some sort of stable offer or, um, yeah, the Empress out here. Nine of Wands. They know good and darn well they don't need to be in your energy, but they're trying to come back into your energy, trying to move on to calmer waters. I feel like they're trying to, like, sneak away from something or trying to sneak away from conflict or a fight out here. Um, something that they started, too, and they want to, like, leave those people to fight on their own and come towards you. Someone out here sees what they're doing, too, because I feel like they're working through somebody. They're working through somebody that you know, Capricorn. And it's like, you don't want to be around that person. You're moving away from them. You're actually going to be moving forward with someone that's more stable than this person. Um, they could be moving slow towards you, but you know that you want that person and not this person. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Capricorn. The lovers. So someone out here is stressed out about two people coming together, about a choice being made. Seven of Wands trying to block it. There's a karmic man out here being a hater. Yeah, the emperor out here with temperance, with the... Yeah, this emperor wants to fix something out here. So someone out here is mad about that, or they're trying to block it, or they feel like... I feel like they're like saying, if I can't be involved in the relationship with you guys, then I don't want you guys to be in the relationship. This is someone I hear that doesn't mind their own business or look at my past Aries reading that I did. If you're, if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, that might resonate for you. Someone I hear is looking for parents, not friends, not collaboration, not people to work with. They're looking for people to take care of them. Um, and I feel like they're trying to do the logical thing and trying to come towards somebody because they know they're out in the cold. And they know they don't like working or something like that. Someone distracts someone while they're working so that they can't move forward to. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Capricorn. So someone's stuck. They cannot move. We have uh, the Hierophant with the High Priestess. Yeah, nothing but respect for whoever this person is. Also, this is a twin flame couple out here. Two people that are put together for a specific reason, a spiritual reason. One for spiritual purpose, others for religious purposes. Two people coming together. So it's like two people from different religions coming together to work together. The High Priestess and the um, Hierophant, to me as a reader, they represent duality because one is behind the scenes doing all the work and then the other person is out on the front lines uh, with leadership, okay? But the High Priestess still gets respect, Okay, this person is stuck in their head about this. They don't want these two people to come together. Um, yeah, clarify what's going on between this Hierophant and the High Priestess. Hierophant and the High Priestess, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, something new out here for you guys. Whoever the Hierophant and the High Priestess is, the Devil out here and the Three of Cups. Yeah, it's like people want to like energy harvest off that. Okay, whatever you guys got going on. We have the Nine of Cups out here and the Queen of Cups. So it's like this is a really highly respected couple. And people around this couple are just not respecting them, I guess. They're together for a purpose, okay? A spiritual purpose. They got something that they got to do out here. With this Ace of Pentacles out here, they're both receiving this blessing, okay? Clarify Justice. For Capricorn. 
the Fool card. Clarify justice, please, for Capricorn. Someone out here really just wants to do what's right. And they don't want anyone else in their energy while they're trying to do this. Let's see, why is the Fool here with justice for Capricorn? Seven of Cups. And the Wheel of Fortune out here. Why the Seven of Cups with the Fool card? The Five of Cups? Someone out here is like, they feel betrayed that someone is moving towards somebody and wanting to give somebody something. Um, and it's really giving me like, uh, someone is receiving karma. Definitely. Someone is having like wishful thinking. They wish that they can do something, but they can't do it. So they're in regret is what I'm getting out here. Yeah, the three of wands is like they're hoping and wishing and praying. They're anticipating for something to happen in their favor, but they're not willing to do any work for it. So I don't know. So someone out here is trying to energy harvest off of your energy. Um, sending black magic your way too. Like they're doing it in the wrong way. Everything is going to be sent back to this person once they figure out that they're not going to be, they're, they're only giving you generational wealth. They're doing things for your own good. Yeah, someone out here is seeing that um, everything that they sent you, especially like if there was any conflict magic being done, Capricorn, it's not working at all. Clarify the world card, please, for Capricorn. Why is the world card here for Capricorn, Holy Spirit, and Angels? Why is the world card here, please, for Capricorn? Two of Swords. Someone's not going to see this coming. The Empress. And the Page of Wands. This could be an X for some of you guys. Someone is going to receive some news about the Empress. And it's going to make them like, I don't know. It's going to make them like, it's just, it's shocking. They didn't see it coming. They didn't notice that this was going to come toward you guys. Okay. You guys are really like trustworthy or something. You can easily speak to people or something like that. So these people are receiving like some sort of like a karma for this. Everything is going back full circle. I'm getting like tables are turning on people, but you're getting favored out here. Whatever you're waiting for, it's coming in for you guys. And I feel like if you're waiting for something as a couple, someone here could just like someone is obsessed with your connection and they're sending black magic your way for this. Okay. So, let's see. What else, please, for Capricorn? Oh, you know what? I was supposed to pull these. Okay. Let's see. What's the energy, please, for Capricorn right now? For the month of August. They just know that they have to... I don't know. There's there's two men out here. One is karmic. One is, is, is very spiritual. Okay? Someone is trying to cause, like, drama for somebody. So that two people don't come together or they're trying to influence someone's choice and a partner. Someone just doesn't like that you're chosen and you have a solid connection. Okay, hold on. So energy for Capricorn for the month of August. You guys already learned some sort of like cycle, some sort of karmic cycle. That's why you get to move forward. Someone else is trying to hold on to you. Okay. Okay. Someone doesn't want to be involved in whatever this person got going on. So it's returned to sender. They choose generational wealth. No one wants to be involved is what I just heard. No one wants to be involved with this person and whatever they got planned and whatever they got going on. And take yourself out on a date. And what else, please? Uh, every hurricane comes to an end. 
Yeah, there's no more fighting in the situation. I guess someone out, out here wanted you guys to fight for the month of August. Be honest with yourself. It's in the reverse. Then we have escapist. Come home to yourself. Yeah, it's something about like not being involved in something. You can manifest your every wish. You already have all the answers, okay? Someone else does not have the answers on how to manifest their every wish, though. Um, and they're looking for other people to help them out with that, okay? So this is your reading for the month of August. Uh, Capricorn, I hope this resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. See you guys next time. Bye.